Okay everyone, now we are going to do question number 12. What exactly the question number 12 is asking? You need to focus. Apply the relationship between charge density. Okay, we need to use here charge density that is your sigma. Okay, I will write sigma and electric field. Okay, second part is electric field. And also specify the direction of the field. What is the major word? Direction of the electric field points near a flat, thin, infinite or large. Okay, no problem. Conducting, known conducting and conducting surface. Okay, that depends upon sigma with a uniform charge density. Okay, we have sigma is constant here okay so we need to create a relation and we need to derive a formula it's very easy if you can image imagine a situation this question will be a very easy one okay just take a paper in your hand a piece of paper or big paper a4 size paper okay so let's say this is the paper how many faces this paper has you can say teacher there are two faces face one face one and this side face two yes or no there are only two faces face one and face two so now just focus on this part let's say this is your this side face one and you cannot see because of this is a three dimension at this side face yes or no if you understand this you can solve the question if you don't understand this thing then it create a problem okay let's see if if we have a paper which is extremely thin flat and thin okay just focus on this point flat and thin so how many faces we can see in this picture we can see six faces front and back okay you can just see this one this is one side from here this corner one side from this corner one side and from this corner one side clear try to understand the faces except two faces you have the four corners also so in this corner can you say there is an electric field what should be your answer electric field is zero on this corner electric field is zero on this face electric field is zero and this corner electric field is zero so how many faces left we have left with two faces we left with two faces so this picture two will help you to understand how many faces we have two one this side face one face one and one should be this side face Clear guys? Okay. Now I'm going to solve this huh? part by part. So now just focus. Phase 1. If I say total electric field. Total electric field. Which is E. Can I say that should be the sum of E1 because of phase 1 plus E2 because of phase 2? Yes or no? Because we already understand uh, there are the two faces. Okay, apply the Gauss theorem. Apply Gauss theorem. Because we need to use the surface charge density. Okay, we know as per the Gauss theorem, flux is equals to Q by epsilon naught. Okay, what exactly we need to use? Surface charge density. So what is surface charge density? Q by area. So from this, can I say Q is equals to sigma multiply A. Fine. Okay. Place it here. So flux is equals to sigma A divided by epsilon naught. This is your equation number 2. Because we need to solve the left hand side also. Okay. Now we have, we know electric field is the sum of E1 plus E2. Okay. The first phase. Now try to understand when electric field is moving like this, 
okay and we have the area this side so we have the end cap okay i will tell you this logic huh even i already explained before also but if you don't remember i will tell you huh uh, we have a word called tensor and a vector first understand tensor tensor what is this quantity might be you heard first time see you know about the scalars you know about the vectors this is the tensor when we give direction when we give direction to scalars they become tensor clear again when we provide direction to the scalar quantity they become tensor and the direction should be fixed you cannot change it it should be fixed let's say i said word area so area is a scalar quantity yes or no okay now i want to give a direction area vector so i said area multiply n cap n cap is the direction clear and it is fixed outward normal what is the direction outward normal means if you can see this side if you are taking area so it should be outward normal n cap if you are using this area it should be like this n cap clear guys okay now what we what we need to solve electric field and the n cap so what is the direction of electric field can i write like this electric field should be like e e cap yes or no and area should be like a multiply n cap so just take this example okay this is the paper electric field so can i say this is electric field and e cap is the direction this is your piece of area area and n cap is the direction so what is the angle between them theta between them can i say zero degree yes or no do you understand this part the angle is because both are in same direction both are in same direction clear so can we solve this we know as per uh, gauss theorem e if flux is equals to e dot s or e dot a you can say e dot a okay so electric field so can i say e multiply e cap dot a multiply n cap so separate them e a bracket e cap dot n cap which is equals to cos of theta e a e cap n cap cos of 0 degree because e cap is direction value is 1 n cap direction value is 1 so can we solve this cos 0 degree value is 1 so can we say flux is equals to flux 1 is equals to put it 1 huh? e1 e1 like this so easy to understand so can i say e1 a e1 a this point is clear okay now similarly if i solve flux 2 can i say e2 a fine because area remains the same okay so what is the total flux can i say uh, flux 1 flux 1 plus flux 2 which is equals to e1 a plus e2 a and both the electric field are same because left side is equals to right side so can i say flux is equals to e uh, you can say bar which easy to understand e bar a plus e bar a so can i say twice of e bar a okay this is your total flux this is your equation number one from equation one and two from equation one and two can we say 
twice of electric field multiply area which is equals to sigma a by epsilon naught area and area cancel so what is electric field electric field is equals to sigma by 2 epsilon naught and with the bar huh so what does it mean this is the electric field due to just remember huh this is the electric field due to one phase due to one phase and e is equals to sigma by sigma by epsilon naught is total clear because of two phases this because of one phase this because of one phase one side you can say and this because of both the faces if you add them two faces you will get this total value of the electric field so just rearrange your question again so what he is asking you need to make a relationship between the charge density sigma and electric field with the direction so now you understand the direction also left and right so in this the major thing what you need to focus the direction if your sigma is positive it means charge is positive so direction is outward direction is outward clear this is the first point if second point sigma is negative it means charge is negative and the line of forces will go inward so this is the major point to understand clear let's say if you have positive charge line of forces will go outward fine and if you have negative charge the line of forces are going inward clear guys okay